I, I wanted to ask about that actually. Um, you know, we have like the different types of dating violence, like like you mentioned, like physical, verbal, sexual, etc. I wanted to ask you, like, how do you see like the digital or like the cyber dating violence playing out as we're like more and more online? Um, I would say that our digital abuse is one of the one of the ones that we i think even within um g10 are trying so hard to figure out how to address um as we know technology is getting better and better by the day um but there's a lot of things that go on on the internet um more than some of the abuse that happens in person. And I think for youth, um, I think for the most part, they think of social media as just like, you know, this, this fun place to be, to show, you know, what I'm doing, um, how life is, the exciting moments, being able to connect with friends and things um, and not kind of taking into consideration how vulnerable of a space social media is or can be. Um, and so it's just, it's really difficult in trying to communicate, you know, with students, what is good on social media and what isn't. Um, and I try not to encourage students to like, not use social media because to an extent, that's one of their only forms of autonomy you know, you go to school, you listen to your teachers, you go based off the schedule, you know, people telling you what to do for eight hours, you come home, your parents tell you what to do for the rest of the night till you go to bed. Social media can sometimes be the only place in which they feel like they have control or in which they can kind of do the things that they want to do. Um, so I don't like to steer students away from that because, you know, you need some, some type of autonomy as a teenager growing up. However, it can be very, very dangerous. Um, I think a lot of um, sex trafficking things can happen on our um, digital platforms. Um, I think a lot of emotional and verbal abuse occurs on our digital platforms. Um, and I think it's just, it's, it's tricky. It's, it's, a, it's a very tricky thing. Um, to kind of handle and I think out of all of these we kind of know Snapchat is like one of the most dangerous um social media uh platforms just because everything's so quick things disappear um in 24 hours you know it's just it's just all opportunity for things to go wrong um, but I think, you know, when we're in the classrooms and things, I like to, you know, tell the students, we talk about it. You know, we talk about what is a red flag when it comes to social media. Um, and even kind of beyond social media, but just um, technology abuse. So like obsessive texts, obsessive phone calls, um, those kinds of things, that, that's abuse as well. Like people blowing up your phone, texting you, or you feeling like you can't not respond. Um, those are safety concerns. Um, and so anybody with a phone <laughs> is liable to experience these things. And so I think the best thing we can do with the digital abuse is just, you know, remind kids of what's a red flag, what's not a red flag, what's appropriate and what's not. And, you know, then just offering support 